Hi guys, Ivan Susan here again from Vloggers on the Loose. We're 14 kilometers north of the Perth CBD, guys. We're in a suburb called Hammersley. Now, um, Hammersley is uh, built out of an area of about 3.4 square kilometers. There's about 5,000 residents in the area, and like I said, 13 k's north of the Perth CBD. So the the freeway is over there. That there's the the Mitchell Freeway over there. You can see cars whizzing by, and over here, in front of us here, you can also see cars whizzing by. That's Beach Road. And um, the suburb on that side of the freeway, that's Kareen. And the suburb on the other side of us is Balga on the other side of Wanneroo Road and so I've already found the, the worst house in the neighborhood guys here it is yeah <laughs> and I've just parked the car and there's a massive bloody dog in there and I thought he was going to jump that fence so what we'll do is we'll take you for a bit of a walk through Hammersley over here pretty old suburb guys been around for a while. Um, now there's there's actually no shops in this area, guys. I'll get to the shops first. There's nothing in this area, no shops at all. But you are surrounded by a lot of shops, if that makes sense. Because across Beach Road, what we just showed you is the Warwick Grove Shopping Centre. And that's a decent sized shopping center. And to the other side, you've got the um, Balcada um, commercial slash industrial area. And you can go over there and get all sorts of goodies in there. So you are surrounded by a few shops. Kareen's also got a shopping, a little shopping center in there. So, um, but nothing in the middle of Hammersley. Now guys, before development, Hamley was a remote district district covered in Jarrah, Mary, Banksia and other vegetation, typical of many undeveloped, undeveloped suburbs of Perth. So, um, it was all bushland through here before it got developed. And um, Hamley's, Hammersley was also home to market gardens, so if you can take yourself back in time and imagine yourself um, with a little, a little pointed um, straw hat on, working your market gardens through here, then we can imagine what it looked like in the day. So this is what it looks like today anyway. Have you taken yourself back in time, guys? And um, imagine yourself working those market gardens amongst your Jarrah and Mary trees. So like I said, guys, this, this area was developed in the 19, um, late 1960s, early 70s through here. And um, it's got all above ground power over here. You will be surprised at the median house price over here. Now it's, it's quite hilly through here. If you have a look at the road behind me, that's what we've just walked up. It's quite hilly. Now there is a road through here, and I haven't—I don't know where it is. We will probably try and find it. There's a road through here because. Um, the most expensive houses are actually on that road and um, from certain vantage points of that road you can actually get ocean views and city views so it must be damn high up look at this house here guys typical 1970s house that french oh that sorry that spanish type look
and the houses over here guys own fairly decent sized blocks also if it was the original house from its day when it was built but now they've also started to demolish a lot of the um, a lot of the older houses and put newer houses on and they're making the blocks smaller because they're putting two houses on this house here this is probably built this is one house over here so I ever bought an old house here demolished it and just built a nice new house and look at that that looks pretty good and there's a, a real oldie from the day over there and uh, a house just got uh, demolished over here guys there's a corner block and what they're doing is from what I can see they're going to put two houses on there one's already Yep, two houses, because you can see over here, guys. There's a, um, if the camera comes right up here. Here you can see a tap here. So this will be for this block here in front of us. And then we'll take you around the corner and show you the other tap. That taps for your water supply by the way. You would have worked it out by now. Tap. And here's the other one here. So um and the pads down for the one house. It's only going to be small houses, probably um two-story townhouse type things. So you'll get two on there and the developer who um who bought that and knocked the old house down he'll be making some good money when I read out the median house price for you guys later in the video so guys what do you think of Amazley so far leave some comments for us down below it's right across the road from Belga right across Wanneroo Road and you're in Belga people actually walk from that part of Amersley, because Amersley is a decent sized area, 3.4 square kilometers. So if you lived near the Wanneroo Road side of Amersley, you walk across Wanneroo Road and people walk across there and they go to the Dan Murphy's over there in Balga. And you'll be surprised at the difference in median house price between Amersley and Balga. So uh, Balga could be a good option. I'll pick the suburb as going to move ahead in the next few years. That's Balga, not Amersley, Balga. Because Amersley's already, there's some houses in here that, yeah, I believe is overpriced. But anyway. But they have sold. So guys, what we'll do is now we'll take you to a different part of Amersley and we'll uh, see you there shortly. Okay guys, we're in a different part of Amersley now. Nice little double story there. Very neat gardens, look at that. Across the road, you also. Look how nice that lawn is. We must have been in the crappy part before because things have suddenly changed through here. All the houses are quite nice over here. All the lawns, all the gardens are kept nice. Now, Guys, there's not really a lot to say about Amersley because it's a very rarely mentioned suburb. Um, it's wedged between Balga and Kareen. Oh, there is a focal point in the area. Um, there's actually a, hundred, a 180 meter ABC radio tower in this area and it's um, been there since 1939. Now a lot of governments want to get rid of it, but it's still there because it actually does the radio signal for all, all the AM radio stations in the whole of Perth. So they won't be getting rid of that because where else would you put it? And it stands 180 meters high. It's uh, near Wanneroo Road, guys. 
you cannot miss it if you drive down one road. So 1939, I think the tower wins. It's been there, it's been there first, before all these houses and stuff. So we won't touch the tower. So this is just a, another little aspect here of Amersley. And we'll take you to another, here's someone missing over here. It's a missing cat. Look at that. Don't know if they found the cat. Probably been taken by a rat, who knows. But there you go. So we'll uh, take you to another part of Amersley now guys and we'll show you around there, back shortly. We're just filming the Warwick um, Grove Shopping Centre here guys, just to show you, we, we're coming out of Hammersley over here and uh, that there is the major shopping centre in Warwick but it's not in Hammersley so we're coming out of Hammersley and that it's just across the road from Hammersley. Okay guys, we're, we're on a street called Rannoch street here in um, Hammersley and this is supposed to be the highest point in Hammersley and that over there is that um, radio tower I was talking about now that's um, on the outskirts of the suburb but it is in the suburb and across here we've got a park and this park is called Rannoch Reserve now over here the park might look okay here in front guys with the with the lawns and stuff and all that type of thing but have a look in there all the dead branches and that and all the all the scrub and that's and dead trees and stuff I don't know why the council isn't maintaining that because that's shocking that can cause a lot of fires and you smack bang in the middle of suburbia in the suburb so that can cause a lot of issues if a fire breaks out here but this year Rannoch Street is the um, the most expensive street in the area. We I have driven I have driven through um, Hammersley and I've seen probably better streets, but um, this is the highest point. So um, you'll get a few views. There was talk about people getting city views from here and ocean views. Um, they can probably get it from their houses. We can't see any city and ocean views. We haven't seen any yet though. There's, there's people here obviously like their frangipanis panties on the right hand side. Have a look at that. The whole, um, whole house is covered in frangipanis. panties. Have a look at this double story here and the bird sitting on, on top there guys on the balcony, he's probably a resident over there. And this house here is quite a nice looking house. Very, very neatly kept. Look at that, that's a good looking house. So they'd probably get some sort of city view from there. If you're on top of that balcony, I would say. Because you can get, I can see some views, but I can't see the city but they would probably get a city view from there because there's a few double story, there's another double story here. It's an oldish looking house. Have a look at the, the way they've trimmed their trees over here on the right hand side. All the um, topiary, I think that's what they call it. Topiary. There's a few smaller towers there also, poking up. Yes, come over here, Susan. There is city views, right through there. You can see the city. I don't know if you want to extend your camera, extend the arm, and maybe, maybe the camera can pick up the city views. But there, we can see the city from there. So yes, there are city views there, guys. We'll see how that turns out. And that's, um, that's actually pretty good city views through there. Very good city views actually. Now there is a house for sale on the street on Rannoch. And 
and he's also the most expensive house in the street in the suburb there's the city there you can see it better from here and there's a few smaller towers also there in the city in this uh, suburb sorry but there's the city over there so yes they were right you can see the city from here and pretty good views also if you're living on the street or in one of the high points over here in Amersley and I can see a a for sale sign over there. I'm not sure if that's the house. But that's the most expensive house in the suburb. That is for sale at the moment. This house here is quite nice, guys. Look how they've done all this rock work and all the stairs leading up to the house. Very well maintained gardens. So this house here guys, that's for sale, is listed as being on Rannoch Close. But it's on a corner, but obviously it's on Rannoch and it's on a massive block. It's on 1,085 square metre block, guys. It's a five bedroom, two bathroom, two car, car garage. And number 132, Rannoch Circle. Sorry, it was Rannoch Circle. Um, on a 1,085 square metre block, like I said. Pretty old house, dating back to the 70s. See that... Um, See that cladding on top, near the roof there? Um, if you're going to ask such a hefty price, why don't you give that a coat of paint? It'll just make people look at it and say, ah oh, yeah, that looks good, they've maintained it. But now they've just left it unpainted, all worn out. Looks disgusting, in my opinion. And they're asking from 999,000 Australian dollars for that. Could have just bought, bought a, a, far, a $10 can of paint at a hardware store and given that a coat of paint and it would have made all the difference in the world but no they, they've chosen not to do that look at this house here guys this is a beauty they've done this well they've got a, a deck on top there on top of their garage area there's a deck so guys what we might do over here it's just um, give you the median house price over here in Amersley and um, you'll be surprised it's not cheap the median house price here in Amersley is 720,000 Australian dollars there's no data available for units over here I haven't seen many units and the median land price over here is 370,000 Australian dollars now that main road over there, that's Wanru Road over there. And that suburb over there is Belga. So Belga's right across there. And now the median house price in Belga, from memory, is only 442000 Australian dollars. And yet you've got the most expensive street in Amersley you can walk across that road and you're in Balga. that's how close it is and they, they won from $999,000 for that house where you can pick up a house, a decent house in Balga for $500,000 and they're sharing the same shopping facilities and the same buses the same everything so in saying that guys we might just wrap it up over here in uh, Hammersley in Perth Western Australia I'll, I'll find some refuge over here amongst the grass trees and um, we'll wrap it up over here amongst the grass trees of Perth so guys thanks for watching the video I hope you enjoyed this video on Hammersley in Perth Western Australia please don't forget to give it the thumbs up and um, don't forget to subscribe guys we need some more subscribers 
and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.